Hey YouTube, today I'm going to talk about how and why to create video chapters on YouTube. And of course, let's give fans shout out quickly. The notification shout out goes to Dojo. Thank you so much for being first in yesterday's video and shout out to you. And the everyday fan shout out goes to Nick Flash. You're here every day on my channel. I appreciate it and shout out to you. I'm sure you saw, especially on your mobile device, like these little segments and videos, just like this one right here. Chapters are not necessary for every video, but if you have like a longer form video, then they'll definitely help. So a perfect example is, you know, the PS5 is coming out. So let's say you're going to do a full review on the PS5 about like UI, the controller, gaming graphics, and like specifications. And you can turn all of these different segments into chapters. Let's say somebody's looking for specifically the audio quality of the PS5. So they can skip to that one point. And there is also a benefit for the creator too. And the benefit is each chapter could potentially be a key phrase that can be searched up on YouTube. And let's say the third chapter is PS5 controller review. And that by itself is a searchable title on YouTube. So if they're on YouTube or any website, they can potentially find that part of your video. Additionally, they can skip to some part or just rewatch some part without abandoning your video. And that's because they know where the chapter begins and ends. And to be honest with you, I only used this once on uh, the TubeBuddy video that I made recently. The video didn't do too great, but there is some moments in the video where the percentage went up in the beginning of the chapter. So it's already showing that it worked. Another good example is if somebody doesn't have like 15 minutes, then they could like skip to a specific part. So it's better for them to watch like two minutes of your video than for them not clicking the video because it's too long. And maybe even later, they're going to think that if that part was good, they're maybe going to watch the entire video. And here's how you actually put the chapters in your video. It's very simple. And before you even put your chapters, make sure that is this is a searchable key phrase. So for example, don't say that in this chapter, I'm going to re review the controller. Just simplify it to PS5 controller review because PS5 controller review is actually a searchable key phrase that people can find all over YouTube, Google, and etc. And here's how you actually put up the chapters. It's very easy. First, start to write the description. So first, make a few lines for your description so you can rank. And then this is how you write the chapters. So for the first chapter, you have to write 0, colon, 0, 0. And that's because YouTube has to know that that's chapter video. And then, of course, like write a PS5 introduction or whatever your first chapter is going to be. And each chapter has to be minimum 10 seconds long. And then just keep writing your chapters. For example, 1 minute 45, uh, PS5 interface. Then etc and etc until you cover each part of the video. Then these chapters were go are going to be created right away automatically. If it doesn't work right away, just refresh it in like a few minutes. But um, when I did it, it took a few seconds. But YouTube says that it could take up to 24 hours. But that doesn't happen on most videos. Usually it's a few seconds. And then that's it. You have the chapters now. And then that's it. There's no extra steps. All you have to do is put the timestamps and the chapter names. And if you want to know how to research titles with a YouTube extension tool, make sure to click this video. And this shows you in detail how you can do that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.